Well, hello there. <laughs> all right. Make sure that's all plugged in properly. Sorry for the big cut. Welcome to the stream. So we're going to be trying to create this wonderful image that we built off. Use Mid Journey to create concept art around, and we'll try and expand and build on it. Now this will probably be eventually on Patreon. Hopefully sometime soon. Hopefully even tonight. Last night's ship is on there, which is great. Actually, so stop, drop, and re-roll. Rephrase that, Marco. Last week's street. Last week's ship will be on there. Hopefully tonight. Let's actually have a quick look at it. Um, I have been working throughout the week um, on it. So it's it's at a good state. Could it do more? I probably could do some more, but it's kind of time to pick it up and just like poof, time to move on. But let me quickly show you what it looks like. Dennis, welcome. Leo, welcome. Pimp Nizzles. I don't know what that was. Mr. Emerger. Privilege as always. So yeah, this is what the ship ended up turning out to be like. Let's jump over into cycles just so we can get the full experience. So this is what the outside looks like. All right, fairly straightforward. What I've done down the bottom here, James, welcome. Uh, so what I've done down the bottom here was some permanent landing gears that are sitting on top of airbags. Okay, see something a little bit different, but that's fine. Uh, for those of you who remember, we animated the back door. This is what it looks like. I was uh, quite thrilled about that animation. How just everything kind of just opens up as if it's kind of like a giant mouth. Uh, when making glass in the cockpit or anything, do you guys make it as a single plane? I will make it as a single plane. Um, actually, do I have? I do have glass there. Sweet. Um, from here, let's actually check out what the inside look like. Now I have been playing around with decals. Um, and I'm hoping to try and maybe perfect that a little bit this week, depending on, you know, how busy I am with school and such. Um, but this is one of the decals that I was working on and it turned out all right. So I am starting to try and build some decals here. That's a decal there as well. So we started creating some bolts and such. Um, those decals have disappeared. Let's continue on into the cockpit so this is a little bar fridge that we created let me just turn that off all right and then this was the console now i do want to texture the console up a little bit but that's a future marco problem we're not going to worry about that one too now dan zemuli mu a mumu the moo very true so but i'm really happy with how this is this ship has turned out um i was doing this quite a bit on um discord i was live streaming on there so if you want come over say hi it will be jumping over onto i will be putting this up on a patreon hopefully tonight so yeah nice little transport ship so now let's jump out don't save and let's kind of start the process of creating something like this now for oop, first things first let's kind of get a bit of a scale happening what i actually am going to do is i'm going to go file append no append no 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 file link I want to link that ship. So let's go back one. Let's go into the that one. I think it's this one. Collection. Collection. And full ship link. There we go. So now we've got our ship in the scene. And uh, this is going to be kind of like my reference piece. Reference? Yeah, reference. And now we can kind of do whatever we want with it. Mike, welcome, buddy. Welcome, 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 welcome. Dennis, did you use decal machine kit ups? I used a la decal machine. Um, it's actually pretty good. I'm trying to get really back into it after jumping onto Sketchfab and seeing how other people are achieving some like really sick stuff. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta start thinking a little bit better. Uh, from 2D landscape, three landscapes, the hardest step for me. Yeah, let's let's just have a crack. I don't know, I haven't done this for a while. Uh, the last one that I did was all about using 3D scans, where this one's going to be more about modeling the actual location. Uh, Christopher, welcome, 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 welcome. There we go. Yo, what's up, artist? <laughs> hey, Nav. All right, pretty expensive for a hobbyist budget. Mm, 
Oh, hang on. I bought it when it was $10. Actually, I'm intrigued. Because I bought it when it first came out. Let me go into a few... Nope, 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 nope. Go into orders. And I think... No, decal machine I bought on Gumroad. So Blender Market wasn't even around when I bought it. That's how long ago I bought it. She habib. She hub. Welcome. It's now 50. Yeah, right. Phew. But depending on how you use it, um, and hopefully once I start making some videos, we'll kind of showcase what's actually capable of. All right. So first up, let's kind of start building this out. Uh, all right. Rotate X. So this is going to be kind of my floor plan from above. Where's my ship? There it is. All right. Let's grab this face here. G X. Something like this. GX. So we're looking at one blender unit is 10 meters. I think that might be a little bit too big. Mm. We'll play it by ear. Let's just have a look what happens. Uh, so we've got 10 by 10. GY. So if I go like so, select all, and we will dump it somewhere. Mm. Actually, let's just move the ship. Yeah, Mark, you're making his life difficult. Come on. There. Let's grab this. GY. Hold control. And then the ship's kind of like that. Um, I think we could probably scale on the Y axis by 1.5. Just make it that little bit bigger. Um, wait for a sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's one of those things that hopefully I will be utilizing a lot more soon. Let's go like this. So what we're doing is just working on that outer edge at the moment. And we're just doing it very cheaply. Cheaply. Doesn't even make any sense, Marco, but good job. Let's let's go 10. This line here is going to be a zero. Um, so that's two and a half. Let's go like here. That's two and a half. I'm gonna grab both of these. GG. GG. Beautiful. And then select all merge by distance. Nice. Shift D, rotate N. And so it's something like this is what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I think something like that. So underrated, I, mm. <laughs> uh, I won't say anything on that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I. Mm, I don't know what to do. Um, so this, I was talking to my wife earlier about this. Um, in terms of generatively, gen, gener, generative um, AI coming into the three D space, I'm a hmm, little bit concerned about that. I'm not going to lie. I make most of my funding from selling my assets and other people's assets, not really through YouTube. And so kind of like if that space goes away, then there's a lot less incentive to be doing this, but I do love this. I love the live streams. Um, probably once uni's completed, we're gonna do a lot more live streams. That's one thing I can't wait for. It's gonna be grouse. Uh, what have we got here? So this is kind of what we're going. You've got screencast. Oh my goodness, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's come over into here. Up here. There's that button. All right. Beautiful. Is that a Red Bull landing pad? <laughs> I, I see where you're going, but uh, no. <laughs> um, let's go into... The question is, is, do we make this modular? I mean, it does look fairly modular. Um, this is probably going to be straight. Oh, it's almost got like a bit of a curve in here. Maybe we might implement that curve. And then, but it goes into a bit of a hex. You know what, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna implement a curve. This bit's gonna go straight and then we're just gonna bevel the edges. Okay, that's how we're gonna do this bit. So this is the top layer. Control L, P, separate by selection. Um, because this is a small forest outpost, I'm not going to be too concerned on 
how this completely looks. So now let's select that. Control B to bevel. And now we've got this kind of like sitting above. Um, from here, we need to cut that in. So I'm going to put an edge loop through here, scale on the Y axis in. And let's go GG. Oops. GG. Select all mesh by distance and GG. I mean, it's not the best geometry, but uh, we will fix that up later. Merge by distance. It looks like a hexagon. It does. But this bit here is a little bit funky, this front bit. It looks straight, but it doesn't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Shh. I don't know. I don't like... I think I like this arrangement. So let's kind of just go with that. Um, we'll probably separate these pieces into a roof and a bottom section down here. This bit here is what's going to connect to the base of the building and we can kind of see that. So if I go shift D and I'm just, what I'm doing here is just mapping out the kind of the floors. So this is gonna be the viewing platform. We're gonna obviously have this top building up the top here. Um, it looks like there's a bit of a grand entrance through here. So we actually, maybe we could even push this back a smidgen. Something like that. And then from here, let's go shift S, cursor selected. And then I'm going to go another cube. Something like that. About here. Let's go GZ. Hold Kataril. Down to the forest floor. And then we're going to sc whoops, scale shift Z. Something like that. Um, I will be designing this as well to try and get into NVIDIA Omniverse. Because uh, this might become the basis of a scene in a short film or web series. Uh, there is a tool that I wouldn't mind showing you a little bit later. So you stick around for that. Uh, that video is insane. A test flight that I went. Hey, what are we talking about? I figured out things instead of going straight to the answer. What? So you have to buy flip. Oh, flip fluids. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Jace. I have people inside. <laughs> um. Now I've completely forgotten. Yes, so the plan is is to try and get it into NVIDIA Omniverse. Um, I am having a bit of a conundrum at the moment internally. And I think, I think I'm think i going to just stay with um, working with uh, Omniverse. Because I see it as the future. Um, but Unreal Engine does look pretty freaking amazing. So we're just still blocking at the moment. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm almost thinking rotate Z like 45 and the minus, and we have it set up like so. Mm. Now let's keep it like that. And then we'll do another landing pad at the top. Right. Yeah, yeah, I, that's, that's my fault. I really should learn hard ops. <laughs> I really should. I keep telling myself, Marco, learn hard ops. And I'm like, okay, Marco. But Marco never learns hard ops. Uh, I know hard, off, hard ops is a beast of its own. And once again, I bought that when it was like five bucks. So I've had hard ops for a long time. I remember when Master Zeon was doing a lot of videos. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. What's my wife messaging me about? You don't have to give me permission. Ah, oh, okay, whatever. All right. Um, so from here, that's looking good. Let's do a Shift D, rotate probably another 19. And I think what we might do is get rid of this, ooh, no, this one here. And then what this will be is maybe like a cargo exit 
onto some mountainside. Funky pants. Welcome, buddy. How you doing? Um, are you getting to model the terrain as a last step? Uh, no, let's do it now. I am going to move this all the way up. So to do the terrain, I'm going to do it really easy. Preferences. And we are going to enable landscape. Obviously, I've already got landscape enabled, the ant landscape. From here, let's go into... Uh, Curse word origin. There we go. Let's go control S and save. Shift A mesh. And we're going to go landscape. And from here, we can open up the landscape tool in the bottom left. There we go. Can I move it? Ah, oh, you suck. Okay. All right. So the plan here is, is I want to make a giant, almost like a mountain-esque. Okay, let's have a look. Nah, not that one. Rigid, nah. Hybrid, nah. Hmm, nah. No, turbulence, what the heck that is. No, distorted noise, no. Marble, no. Okay, now I'm just trying to find some. Not feeling the love on that one. Where am I? Other Sorry, I just had a stroke. Let's go. I'm just trying to find something. Okay. Distorted H terrain is kind of what I want. Noisy rocks. No. Planet. Hmm. It's not exactly what I wanted. I think... Hmm. What's the best way to do this? It's not... I'm not feeling it. Nothing's really tickling my fancy. If I go scale that down a little bit. And then we scale by 100 million. Yeah, that's... Pfft. Kind of like this is where I roughly want it. All right, let's do it manually. So, plane, scale. <laughs> All right, I haven't done this. Actually, I haven't done this before, but what we're going to be using is the sculpt brush that I suck at. I need to increase my render view. So in the view on the right-hand side, now I can see 10 kilometers away. I do need a good valley, and that's what I'm thinking. Let's go subdivide, subdivide. Um, I don't know sculpting. I am not very good at sculpting. But uh, let's kind of go for it. Now, you have to remember a lot of this is going to be covered with uh, volumetrics. So I'm not going to be too concerned. Hey, someone just joined. Okay, welcome. Um... But yeah, I'm busting chops to make a animated short series. That's the goal. The goal is an animated short series. Maybe not this year, but it will be next year. And that's what all these assets are building up to. All right, so we've got this at the moment. Now there's a smooth tool somewhere. There it is. And then we can kind of just smooth it out. I'm just going to radius that puppy up. There we go. Something like that. And then once we start throwing in a little bit of... Yeah, what we want. Mr. Bat, welcome. Uh, the operated preset for the landscape, maybe. I did have a look, Kay. Um, but I wasn't... Kay? Kai? Kay? Kai? I am, but I didn't really find anything that I liked. So we're just going to kind of... Just fake it. I think that's a bit too high now because technically we'll just build a spaceport on top. Let's keep, just bring that all down. But that's kind of what I'm after. And then later on we could probably try and paint in a road or something or um, maybe I might just model up a path or something. Um, but that's the plan. So that's what we're going to be kind of looking at. We're going to put some trees and crud in the background. I think definitely we might have to come in and bring some of these down. That's kind of something like that. 
Yeah, maybe something like that. Alright, I'm done. Beautiful. Whatever. Cool. Let's now go back in and start modeling up some of the details. Um, with this piece here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to set the origin point to about here. So this face. Shift S cursor to selected. Um, let's go Control L delete vertice. Right click set origin to 3d cursor and then technically okay so you can do a control c to copy i can't get markham to use shut up <laughs> i keep forgetting about it um we will do this manually i gotta get better with um grid 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 what Grid, grid modeler. Wow. Need a good value. Yep. Hermant. Welcome. Mr. Lonka. Yes. Um, mirror on the... No, that's not going to work. Yeah. No, it's going to be an array. So what I can do is I think if I go... Shift D will duplicate. Alt D will duplicate again but it makes it kind of uh, like a copy. I'm gonna just lower that down a little bit. So that means if I select this, and then for instance, I select this edge and go E to extrude, we're editing the same piece. That's what we want. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and select these pieces here. And I can't put an edge loop in because it's not a square. So what am I gonna do? Let's go. I need to turn, I need to put an edge in here. So if I go like so, and we go like so, whoops. And if I put an edge in here, control B, I hate you. That's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, yes, actually. Let's go back in. Select that. Alt S. No. Control Shift B. Yeah, there we go. So now that I've done that, it is a problem there and I hate you. Uh, oh, actually, let's do this. Merge at last. Merge at last. Merge at last and merge at last. So now we've got a uh, square. Not in the bottom though, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and delete the bottom. <laughs> Delete face. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Shut up. <laughs> and we're going to go scale on... Oops. Scale on the Y. Delete this face. And then we're going to select that edge. F, F, F. Beautiful. All right. So now I've got edge loops, which is what I wanted. So we're going to go something like this. Control B. Okay. And so this here is going to be a kind of gutter. So let's go E to extrude. Grab this edge loop, G, Z, and we're going to bring that down. And so that's going to be kind of like where the rain rolls, rolls off, G, Z. There we go. And so there's kind of like that little gradual thingamabob in there. This ship now can move up to about here I believe now um, let's go ahead mm, let's go move new collection terrain and we'll just push that off to the side and I'm just going to hide the terrain for now just so we can focus on this so that's given me my desired effect let's come to the outside here and I'm going to go E to extrude just down a little bit more from here I'm going to do E to extrude again and Alt S and we're going to bring that in scale along the y-axis just so it's kind of equal yeah we're happy yeah she'll be right mate yeah mate she'll be right hey yeah mate hey beautiful so you can kind of see how we're building this out obviously this bit here we're gonna to have to fix up well actually we might we might just put a plate on top where the ramp comes up and then it kind of just covers us nice good idea marco yeah thanks idiot 
All right, let's have a look. What's going on over here? Nothing. Sweet. Um, so we're still semi going through the blocking phase. What I will do though is I'm going to grab this face, Shift D Z. Let's go. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Let's just go F F F F. Okay. Select all E to extrude. What the? Oh, no, 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 no. You weren't meant to be there. So let's go ahead and select these vertices here. Delete vertices. Now, did I stuff up over here? No, that's fine. It's all right. Just uh, talking to myself. Apparently, it's the first sign of insanity. Whatevs. <laughs> so from here, we kind of have this separation and then what we might do in here is just put some pylons and such just uh <laughs> just to uh give it a little bit more aesthetic just to hide that in because if we kind of have a look at the concept we can see how we've got this gap well what i thought was a gap it doesn't look like a gap um but we can clear it up put panels and crud everywhere um, for these branches. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that for now, but future market problem. Let's move that over. Let's select this shift S cursor to selected from here. What I'm going to do, let's do something a little bit fancy. Rotate Z 40, rotate Z 45 scale GZ, something like this. And let's continue to scale all the way up to about there. Um, I'm going to put an edge loop. I'm going to put another edge loop through there. Let's go there. Fine, awesome, foursome. GG. And we'll go GG. Merge by distance. Let's grab the outside. E to extrude along the Z axis. Scale shift Z. And then we're going to have something like this. And then we can come in and trim this sucker down. Hmm. How's this going to work? Okay, that does not work in the slightest, does it? No, it doesn't, Marco. Well, that sucks. Yes, it does. Is that because they're not equal on either side? If I go scale X minus one, excellent. It doesn't flip. Ah, oh, I know why. Uh, shift S cursor to selected. Shift S selection to cursor. There we go. So this now should be equal, but it's not. Why would that be the case? All right, well, let's just kind of do it like that. And then we go G, X, G, X, X, Y, Y. What? Oh, you daft monkey. You did it in edit mode. Okay. Um, from the origin point, let's just go rotate 45. Okay. Well, there's our problem. It's not very... <laughs> Try delete bases. Uh, let's go into this view. Rotate Z 45. This is why I love to watch streams. Yeah, 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 ding dong. Um, I learnt, and I, I, I will give him a shout out. I learnt the, to bevel a vertice, control shift B. I learned that from Josh Gambrell. He's a good kid. I don't know, he's probably the same age as me. He's a good kid. <laughs> let's just, let's just go with that. <laughs> Um, from here, there we go. I'm just going to do what I did just before. Something like that. Let's go like so. Scale on the X. And I kind of want to go straight with this one. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. Merge by distance. Let's grab that whole edge now. E to extrude along the Z axis down like so, scale, scale on shift Z. 
Nice. And then we're going to go something like that. Let's go like so. And then like so. GG. And I just kind of want to make this slot. Yep, just in there. Just in there. GG. Whoop. In through here. Delete faces. And then what I can do from here is let's just kind of close that loop off. Z. And then what's the best way? Actually, no, undo that. Let's do this. E to extrude. Scale Z zero. Oh, suck a lemon. Nope, 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 nope. Marky did that wrong. Why are you being a jerkosaurus? E to extrude Z. Like so. There we go. Look at that. All right. From here, select this edge. F f f. Beautiful. Um, we will split this apart a little bit later. Let's now go ahead and do the same for this section. GG. And where are you, sunshine? Is that you? That's you. GG. Okie dokie. Yeah, that's the right one. Whatevs. Whatevs, Trevs, eh? Is that... Yeah, that's the right run. Right, 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 run. That's right, Shaggy. Sorry, just had a bit of a stroke. It's all good. And we're going to go something like this. Who's been watching The Mandalorian? Who is invested in The Mandalorian as well? There we go. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. Delete those vertices. Uh, ooh. Actually, GG. And we'll just close this off. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty good show. I, I will give it that. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Merge by distance. It's been good to see that they've been uh, putting in a few more boss fights. A few more battles. I've been enjoying that for sure. Fuh. Um, and that's kind of like, I th think that's kind of where the ideas of using more decals is going to become more beneficial. Um, there was, I was looking at one model that was really bugging me because I didn't know how they made it. And then, and yeah, it was just, they used decals. And so that's why I'm going to scale that shift Z, just bring it in a bit. Let's go bring this back a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's uh, in my free time. That's just something I like to do is go through other people's models and see why they're better than me. <laughs> Craig's here. Oh my goodness. I have to finish next. It's next in fashion before I... What the heck is next in fashion? <laughs> let's uh let's just do a quick netflix check on that one so i can have a bit of a laugh <laughs> next in fashion next in fashion i can't spell anyway Um, Mandalorian is next on my watch list. King Engine, what a name. Probably the reason you like doing this. Yes! No! No! No, 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 no. If you go back, the channel's mostly been sci-fi. Um, and that's just because I dig the sci-fi genre. I really like it. Alright, let's kind of let's start looking. Let's continue building this out. So let's go edge loop, control B, something like that. Let's go alt S to expand the selection. And then this is here where we can start forming in windows and such. So I'm going to grab that section. Uh, actually, we're going to grab this whole section. I'm going to go P separate by selection. I'm going to actually select this here. Let's select this face, shift D, P separate by selection. So I've got just this face by itself. Excellent. Let's go scale on the Y-axis. G, X, 
from here, let's mm, bring that in. Scale on the Z. And then we'll do something like that. And let's go G to the X. Bring that back. Yeah. That's looking nice. Just kind of breaking up that silhouette a little bit. Sci-fi can mean. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I concur. Um, let's go shift S. I am going to bring in a character. Let's let's just start. Oh, can I? Mm, I don't have any low poly characters. Not to worry. Import a character. Let's go down into temp. Temp, 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 F, temp, characters, my main man. There we go. Let's bring him into the um, chisel jazzle. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Okay, we're, we're plopping along. We're keeping it real. So my character is somewhere. Um, there he is. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Control J and join all your mesh. So I've got a lot less to work with. From here, I'm going to select him, move new collection to character. Caps locks on, buddy. Come on. Character. Give it deal. And now this will kind of give you the scale of what we're working off. Beautiful. Um, if I come up here and we go face project. Whoops. I want to, to the medium point. I want to align the rotation. I want rotate and scale. So if I go G and hold Katarl, there we go. Uh, let's now grab both. C, and I'm just going to throw a few of them around. And I don't have... So this is going to be kind of like the entryway. Nice. I do like that idea. Let's kind of gather this section in here. Let's do I to do an inset. Um, from here, let's do another eye for an inset, and then we'll come back around. E to extrude, but we're going to go Alt S and bring it in. And that's going to be kind of like our viewing window. We want a bit of a frame to go around this. Let's go E to extrude, Alt S to pop it out. Nice. Um, even though on this image here, uh, I mean, look, we can come back through and change this around a little bit. Wow, this actually looks a lot bigger. This looks like it's two floors here. But I mean, it doesn't need to be. Because you're never going to have a ship probably bigger than that landing on here. Hmm. Le poop. Uh, delete. Start again. F -f 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 -f. And I only want these three windows. Shield. P. Separate by selection. Let's grab all that. I to do an inset. And we'll do this again. Uh, mm, let's just do that. Whoops. I to do an inset. E to extrude. Uh, Alt S. Oh, fine. Like so. I. <gasps> ooh, ee, ooh, ooh, ah, wada, wada, bing, bang. Mm, ah. There we go. And so now we've got that. I'm just going to go right click, shade auto smooth. Let's select this auto smooth just to make it a little bit smoother. Why does she can cross the road to get to the other side? Um, to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, <sighs> I can't remember the rest of them. There is so many. Focal access, welcome. Good, good. A little bit dehydrated, but I am drinking. Just like Modis Pop. <laughs> At a stroke. Just like Modest Pelican would say. Stay hydrated. I think that's what he says. Knock, knock. Who's there? That's, that's what I gotta say. Who's there? Go on. I'm lost. Uh, okay. So let's go back into this. What I am going to do is I'm going to put a nice big cubic cube cube. Let's go something. Whoops. Go back to increment. And I'm going to move that up. Let's go scale on the Z. Scale it on the X. So this here is going to be kind of like our entry point. 
into the facil facility. The chicken. Oh my gosh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Hang on. I just gotta take a screenshot for later. <laughs> Alright, so from here, we're going to do that. Um, whoops, let's continue on with something like so. You've really stuffed me up now. Uh, from here, maybe maybe we just do that. And then, because I've got the bull tool enabled, so if we go edit preferences and we just type in bull, this is an add-on that comes with Blender. I can now select my cutter. I can select my object, control numpad minus. And now we've cut that out. I will do that one as well. Oops, my cutter and that control numpad minus. And we have, we have it now that we can do some work. Cool. Let's now go, did I, I made this all solid. Beautiful, let's grab that. E to extrude and we're just gonna extend that into there. And then what this will allow me to do as well, we can probably build another cutter. Uh, actually, we'd probably just work on this cutter. There we go. And from here, I'm gonna put loop cut, control B, uh, put a loop cut through here. Let's select these two edges. Oops, back and back. E to extrude along the Y axis. Nice. And there's our kind of like gateway into the object. Lovely. Yeah, how's that looking? I think, I got a feeling we should probably raise this up even higher. And then that's, welcome, Clyde. Um, there we go. Let's go fix up our cutter now. I'm gonna select the bottom section. The bottom, there we go. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Let's grab all this bottom section here, all these vertices, scale Z zero, M to merge by distance, cleaned up some vertices and we'll bring that down. I hate you. What is your problem? Why are you doing that now? Uh, let's go shift N, make sure our normals are all the right way. Let's select all this, shift N, no, okay, okay. So something has gone wrong with the cutter. All right, let's bring that up, ah, oh, you suck. Uh, shift S, shift S cursor to selected, shift S selection to cursor, there we go. Now, the question is, is why is this not cutting? Uh, let's try select this and we'll go fast. So fast cuts it out like that, but that's not what I want. Maybe it's because of, I don't know, let's just go merge by distance. And then we're gonna delete these internal flaws, delete faces. Did that fix the problem? Yeah, it did, sick. Let's go with that. All right. Um, so here is where we can kind of build our, you know, big gates into the actual, um, the, 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 yeah, into kind of like the warehouse and there's going to be an internal lift and that's going to, what's going to pull it down. Um, I think we're going with that. So something, maybe we even bring this up to here. That's our false floor. Nice, nice, nice. Excellent. So we've blocked out that quite nicely. I think this looks terrible. Let's give it a bit of a hexagon shape. Control B to do a bevel. And then that'll mean that we can scale these. So let's just grab that and that. Control L, scale on the scale on the Y axis. This can remain a big get stuffed one. So something like that. And then down here is where we'll put our doors. Mwah. 
uh, let's do a little bit of cheating. And I am going to open up another blend file. Now, for those of you new to the channel, welcome. Uh, Blender tutorials, Omniverse tutorials, what else? Just stuff. Uh, there will be some machine design coming up as well. So, yeah, check that out. So, let's go file um, open. I want to pop out into our marketplace because I built a very nice door in there. Wheat warehouse, sci fi marketplace. That's the one I want. So, we're cracking this one open. I'm going to click on that. I want that because I like this door. Control C. Let's jump into our other blend file. Control V. Nice. GZ. Oops. Select this again. Rotate Z 90 degrees. And let's dump it in here. I should probably put this as an asset. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I'm down with that. So we got something, some big get stuffed door like this. Um, let's go from here. Shift S cursor to select it. Would you say it's adorable? That's good. <laughs> I like this. I approve. <laughs> it is very much adorable. <laughs> <laughs> so from here, let's go Shift D Z scale. Oh my goodness! You're quick, please. I I beg of you, please tell me you're a dad. If you're not, I'll give you your license. <laughs> let's go Shift D Alt Control. Shift D, hold control. There we go. How's that looking? Ooh. Mm. It's not bad. I'll buy that for a dollar. From here, we need to fill up that gap. Let's go something like here. Scale. Shift D, X, hold control. Select these two pieces. Control L, G to the Z. Where's it touching? Probably out here ish. E. How's that looking? That's looking not too bad. Um, I do probably want to put a boundary through here, just kind of bit of a uh, bit of a border. I think that'll make it look nicer. Definitely, once we apply this tool cutter, then I reckon we're going to put in some intricate stuff in there. What? That's good. That is good. I will remember that one. I approve. I thank you, Dennis. I thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> um, you're, you're destroying me. Let's go from here. I'm going to grab an edge loop through there. Let's go like so. And I'm going to scale that in just so we've got a bit of a radius. Should we, I think we might make this an octagon shape. Control B to do a bevel. Let's go something like that. And this will allow us to create just kind of like a whole bunch of greebles and such through here. Looking at this, this isn't straight. So that's a little bit infuriating. So let's go scale X zero, scale X zero. Did that straighten it up mm, to an extent? Why are you not straight? There we go. Nice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Do we want to put some like supports on underneath? I'm not sure. Um, I do like this light strip. So we will gather, we will do that. This piece here looks really nice. Let's maybe work on the end of the platform. Let's go shift D to the X. And I'm just gonna go like this. Yeah, beautiful. E to extrude. Uh, let's select that, scale Z, scale Y. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm going to select this back face, E to extrude. I'm going to go through like that. Nice. And then, yeah, we can put some stuff down. What is most frequent? Frequent infection suffered by geometry specialists. That's good. Discord. i got to send that to someone. There we go. And what's the other one? The cute angle. Sorry. I. That is just... <clears throat> Brilliant. Done. I've sent it to Felicia. <laughs> Alright. So that's coming along really nicely. I really like how that's turning out. Um, I know that on the image it's a little bit more extended. But I'm not too concerned about that. Um, we could probably even... Like... Hmm, how are we going to do this? I feel like I want to put in support poles all through here. Um, let's cheat. Let's go into the asset browser. Asset browser, control S, save. Into kit bashing. I know I've got... While we're here, let's grab that piece. Uh, rotate X 180, G to the Z. Period key. And we're just going to dump that in real quick. Nice. That's looking good. And then we'll uh, duplicate that around a little bit later. Let's not worry about that for, for now. I am looking for a specific piece, which is um, kind of like supports. I know what it looks like. Where it is that is the next question. It's not that one. It. I swear I've got it. There it is. Put that in there. Let's now close that off. Uh, let's go rotate Z 180 to the minus. And then we're just going to cheat now. And I'm just going to dump that probably in about here. G to the Z. Actually, we'll scale you down because you're too big. And then into about there. Uh, rotate 180. Beautiful. G. And we're going to dump you about here. Let's go G. Oop, maybe what we'll do is we'll scale this section. Alt. Hmm, scale on. Scale on the Y axis. Yep. Perfect. And then we can bring that in. G Y. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Shift D, Y, and we'll put you about there. Oop, a little bit more sunshine. G, Y, put you about there. Nice. Control S, let's save that. Uh, just for funsies, I'm going to go Shift right click. Let's put a light source in there, point light. And I'm going to make this a bright 5,000 watt. Let's go. I'm thinking. Let's go. Let's go into shading. Have you seen Unreal Engine 5.2? Yes. Uh, what's that library called? That's the asset browser. Um, that's just all my assets that I have uh, the ones that I've created there are links in the description if you want them there is a free asset kit if you want to pick that up somewhere just go through the links do you have floodlights I do not have floodlights I don't think but I think it's probably one of those times I probably need a floodlight I will whip one of them up all right let's go into textures um, I want this to be Let's go 5%. So it's, the sun's really low on this one. Back into layout. I'm going to go into that. Uh, was that with the... Yes, it was with the new Gen 5. So that's looking pretty good. I am going to turn down the world even more. Uh, where are we? Sky texture. There we go. Let's expand that. I'm going to go minus 10. Uh, that engine has lights. Welcome 
Who just rocked up? <laughs> Zed like do killer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got engines. Engine light on that. Let's just get Control S to save. File, file, open recent. I'm just going to turn down the, those ones. Uh, click on the engines, matte engine, and we're just going to put that back to just 10 for now, just to shut up. File, open recent, back into the forest landing port, and now the materials have updated. So when we go into rendered view, we're not going to have that. Um, let's move forward a little bit, and then we're going to have the spillage from there. So we kind of get to see what it's starting to look like. Jeez. Okay, let's go one. Just a very harsh sunlight. Shift S curse. Bleh, shift S curse word origin. I am going to try this just quickly. See what it looks like. Uh, let's unhide the terrain. Uh, we have our box. Okay, let's go into our shading. Um, I will rename this box while I'm here. I'm so late. I I even had a nap this morning, this afternoon. It was great. Uh, terrain. Let's go. I'm just going to rename these to uh, volume, caps lock Marco. Volume. That's not how you spell it, but anyway. Terrain. Okay. Volume. So back into the volume, into object, new material. This one is called volume. Let's go delete, shift S. Volume scatter. That'll go into there. And topography. We go into 0.99. Density will be 0.02. And let's go into rendered view and we'll see what it looks like. Hopefully we now we've got the massive fog effect. Yeah, so the rendering is going to be a little bit longer, which is fine. So maybe we go point, point oh 0.01. Yes, look at that. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's looking kind of cool. Uh, control S to save. I'm just going to hide. What was that? What's that enough in the distance? Oh, that's the end. Oh, that's the edge of... Let's just come back in. That's... I mean... Does look pretty cool. Once we start throwing in all the lights and such. Um, and then we have that render. Throw some trees in. Whoop it chang! That's going to look schmick. Yeah, I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah. I think we might have to extend these out. Um, and we'll probably put some pipage and such through there. I don't know what that light is. But definitely once we start putting in some lights through here, probably add in a bit of a tower up the top. All through here, the cylinder. We'll throw some stuff in there. Embrace the noise. It's the volumetrics. Uh, yeah, if I go denoise. Denoise. Leloid. Mm. Cheers, Mike. Dennis, that would be awesome. In the UEFN. What the heck's a UEFN? I feel that I should know what the UEFN is. It is 10 o'clock. That's 10 o'clock? only sick <laughs> it's not that late then let's go um individual origins e to extrude i'm going to extrude that in let's now go scale hmm. that's not what i wanted scale xx nope scale shift z yeah something like that now we do shift d P separate by selection and then we've got this I'm gonna shift s and scale that out let's shift s scale it out a little bit are you oh what 
the okay scale 1.1 scale y 1.1 oh go suck a lemon thank you who's that Elias? <laughs> the Fortnite editor. Oh, so yeah, th this is the conflict that I am having. Do I? Do I start touching Unreal Engine? Uh, I'm, look, at the end of the day, there's plenty of benefits for me to start doing it. Uh, let's go right click. Poor. That stinks. Um, there are plenty of reasons for me to start using it. I am semi contemplating in touching it. I did play with MetaHuman today. Eh. Mm. 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 Wasn't really feeling it. I was like, eh. Meh. What? Nah. Didn't. Didn't really tickle my fancy. Uh, actually. Let's try and get the right scale here. About there. Yeah, no. Uh, MetaHuman. Yeah, no. It's like, eh. Whatevs. I mean, obviously, yes, I'm biased. I've got character creator, blah, blah, blah. But, I don't know. It just felt like it was missing something. Metal. Metal vapes. Bye. Um, yeah, no, I just don't know. Uh, let's go light underscore yellow. Yellow, Mr. Jello. Um, I think it's probably just because I've got more invested in character creator. Uh, and that's why I feel that it's a bit better. What are we looking at here? Boy, oh, Jesus, the sun. too big is what that is that is too big so individual origins enabled let's go scale on the z g to the z what i will do i am now going to go shift a we've got these selected i'm gonna go select random just think of caps lock but what i'm gonna do is where it says select I'm gonna go deselect, and I wanna deselect probably about 0.2%. Uh oh. Nope, control Z. Why, whatevs, hang on. There we go, so let's go select random. De no, I wanna be in face mode. Select random. Oh, deselect 0.9. Point eight. Uh, who just joined? Shelly. Welcome. Welcome, Shelly. Time for coffee. This is my coffee right here. At 10 o'clock at night. On a Sunday. I think I'm more need a fan. All right, let's create a new material. I am going to now go uh, yellow light. I want to duplicate this material, but this one is going to be blue. And then we're going to go into the blue realm. And then we're going to go assign. Deselect everything. From here, I'm going to go select the yellow. Select the blue. Select random. And from here, I'm going to just going to go assign. And so now what it's going to see is we're going to have lights yellow. Predominantly yellow. Some blue. And then some with none. Perfect. Your role model. Thanks. <laughs> don't. Don't have uh, mothers at 10 o'clock at night. Because I know I'm going to struggle to sleep. But it's for the glory of the channel. You got you to gotta take the hits. <laughs> don't, just don't encourage. <laughs> um, what are we on? Hang on, let's have a look. How many likes are we on? We're on 42 likes. That's it. Oh, barely anyone's here. So, once we get 100 likes, now we'll do 120 as we always do. Let's jump onto the gum road. 
um, and we'll give away some kit bashing sets as always discounts you can now manage discount codes from the new discount page okay cool that's nice anyway let's jump on i'm going to open what are we giving away which one are we giving away is the question yes so there's this one control v there's that one there's this one control v there's this one control v or there's this one um we'll talk about that later so we're at 50 likes once you get to about 110 120 let's do you know a big giveaway again like we do on every stream um so yeah also can everyone just like leave a comment right now i am just intrigued what's going to happen so at the moment i'm on 56 viewers can everyone just dump a comment in and just let's see what happens. I'm intrigued to see if there's going to be a spike. Um, from here, we're going to continue to block this out. Get out. There we go. Let's turn off our terrain because I don't care for right now. Here, I do want to build this up a bit. Let's go shift D. <laughs> Thanks, Levy. I want to build up this section in here. Free coming. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and we're going to split these up. I'm partial to Kipash 3. It's uh, it's pretty good, the Kipash. Obviously, you'll see me use it quite a bit. Uh, if you haven't already. I do use my Kipashes quite a bit. Comment. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Excellent. 54. Okay. Dropping the people viewing. We'll see what happens. Sci-fi building wings again. I don't know. Let's have a look who just joined 8k village welcome um okay so we have this now um i am going to maybe what we'll do is we're gonna go like this we're gonna go like this let's do do we actually build out the interior here is the big question i mean we i don't want to build out the interior we're not doing that on stream tonight that could be it. that could be another stream so let's go something like this i'm going to do another e to extrude now the reason why they're all extruding individually is because up the top here i've got it set to individual origins so it's extruding as an individual origin to the face rather than them as a collective so there's a little fun fact for you fun fact um from here i don't hmm you know what? Hmm. Mm. Mm. Let's go P. Mm. Separate by selection. I'm going to make this material glass. Let's do it. Marco, don't do it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's go like this. And then I'm going to go select similar area nice i hate you select similar area control i to invert my selection because i'm one of those frames let's go delete faces so from here i've just got the frames now i'm going to throw in a solidifier modifier and let's just kind of zoom in a smidgen okay this is what the interior looks like and we're just going to make that a little bit thicker like so what that'll hopefully entail is if i go into rendered mode i haven't set up a glass material marco you got to set up a glass material for the glass to work what what do you mean yeah did you hear about the artist who died too many strokes that is brilliant oh my goodness that is brilliant oh my goodness hang on i have to jump on facebook and send that to someone did you hear about the artist <sighs> Uh, where is it? Exceptional dad jokes only. Control V. Put that in there. Okay. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, glass. Let's delete that. How do I do glass? I think I go glass. I go transparent. And that goes into a, a mix shader. Like so. And then we go into there. Into 
oops, into there, into there. And then now we go, I think, I go like 0.8 from memory. Cool. Is that actually working? Why is there no, why can't I see out? What have I done wrong? Shift N, I reckon. If I go, if I go hide, there we go. All right, you're an idiot, that's why. Let's go like so, just we got some planes in here. Wait, got another joiner, delete face. There we go, so now we can see on the inside who just joined, I just wanna have a quick squeeze. Ilham, welcome, 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 welcome. Seems to be, nah, I don't think it did. It didn't do as well. It would have been about here. Wait, hang on, no, it went down to 54. We dropped. Ah, oh, there we go, it's starting to come back up. So, it was an idea. I just wanted to test that out. Didn't really work. Oh, well. Um, I do like how that's looking, so we'll probably chop that out. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dump in a light in here. Let's go in area light. Something like that. Scan it out. Let's go 500. Why am I working in shading? I don't know. Let's just go back into layout. Uh, we will increase this light to maybe 5,000. That's a little bit too much. Let's go 1,000. Obviously, there'd be a lot more individual lights in here. Uh, from here, Alt-H. Nope, we click on this. And now we'll get to see kind of like all the people in there chillaxing, talking, blah, blah, blah. So that might actually end up being a really good scene, how we've got that. Might even, depending on how we go, might even animate the ship coming in. Because, <laughs> you know, that's our ship's land. So that's looking pretty good. I do want to work a little bit on the externals. Um, I reckon... Let's do... Oh my goodness, I don't have anything installed. Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to do it manually. I don't have... Panel, I don't have random, do I have random flow? Q? Q? No, I don't even have random flow installed, far out. I upgraded to the latest, so that's why I'm missing a whole bunch of jazz. Uh, like so, let's, I just want to put a bevel on who just came in. James, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Clear this first time. Hopefully you'll stay for the fish. I don't eat fish, I'm from Canberra, there's no sea here. You don't eat fish in Canberra, because there is no sea. Oh yeah, but Bateman's Bay's like, no. No. <laughs> I stick by that rule. <laughs> I stick by that rule. Um, don't ask. So that's, this is where we're at. Um, do we kind of create some sort of viewing platform in here? Do we create maybe a smaller platform down here? Maybe that's something we'll have a look. So let's kind of grab that. I am just gonna quickly whip up some panels. So let's get rid of these pieces. Control LP, separate by selection. Let's grab that, edge loop this up, edge loop through the middle, edge loop through the middle, edge loop through the middle. Um, from here, edge loop through the middle. I am going to go shift D to duplicate that one. The one above is where we're going to start doing all our damage. So let's go edge loop through. Ooh. Not really what I wanted, but sure. Control B, delete faces. And then we're just going to kind of go around and just start deleting a whole bunch of faces. Control B. And I will show you why in a sec we are doing this. Let's kind of go like that. Oh, suck a lemon. Let's just clear these faces out because uh, they suck. I uh -uh, they suck. Uh, box select in there. Down through there. Mwah. Oop. Mwah. That and that. 
we've got them delete faces excellent so now we can kind of work in okay um let's kind of now just work on creating a whole bunch of panels delete faces and so this is pretty much my go-to system for, uh, for creating panels dude just like massive strokes tonight ah. it's occurring it is not occurring the boys are on the boys are trying to call me for some rocket league however I've told them it is Sunday night and the rocket league battles do not happen tonight um control b do bevel delete delete faces um i'm only probably going to do two faces maybe even one face uh sorry two sides all right uh yeah actually let's just do that i'm just going to quickly delete a whole bunch of stuff you and you control l i hate you what the And which one is it? It's this one. Oh gosh, you suck. See? There you go. Delete vertices. Get out. Excellent. So now what we can do from It's that side, you clown. See how he runs. Have you ever seen a rascal run? Er, er, er delete vertices yep and then they'll leave us with that cool so now what we can do is jump into the add modifiers mirror modifier on the x and the y what the mirror modifier and the x oh i'm gonna have to rotate it afterwards okay that's fine anyway um and then once we come in we can go into solidifier set it to zero and then we increase the thickness and then this is kind of like how we're getting our panels on here is it a minute detail it will be definitely once we probably put a light under here and we get that shining come down it'll look grouse um, there's very various variations i do to this as well so one of the things i normally do will be um apparently have a stroke What are you saying, you donkey? Ah, okay, yeah, anyway. So another way that I do this will be with the shrink wrap modifier, and we did that largely on the giant ship. Uh, let's, let's, let's crack it open. I'll show you what I mean. So this one is far from weeks ago that I'm trying to finish. The enemy falsely imprisoned, he was keyframed. Oh my goodness. That was classic. That's I. I'm just hurting people's feelings now. Open. Let's jump in. The ship is called a medium frigate. Open. Whoops. Mm, this one. So this is a ship that I've been working on and that we've been using uh, the shrink wrap method. So you can see if I select the panels and go tab into edit mode, you can see how everything is sitting actually on top and it's just being projected onto the surface. Uh, let me just quickly show you what this ship looks like. There's so much work to be done on this thing. I don't even know why I was putting so much effort into it. Um, but these panels look nice. It's a lot of work. Um, I think I made the panels definitely way too small. But that's looking pretty good. Mwah. Kanye, well. I am plopping along. But anyway, so this is... Yeah, definitely going to come back. I'm slowly chipping away at this one. But yeah. So let's go back to this. This is looking pretty grouse. Um, so one thing as well that I like to do now is actually grab a plate that's already there. Shift D. Let's just zoom in a little bit. G to the X. Uh, is that out far enough? It is. And then what I can do from here is just start positioning it so it's kind of like overlapping g scale on the y 
and then this would give us kind of like an extra layer. Shift D, you can do it, Marco. Well done, Marco. Good job. You clown. Um, scale on the Z, scale on the Y. Da -da -da. Beautiful. So if we have a look now, you can see that it's pretty minute. Let's <laughs> grab some more. I just want to grab them again. And let's bring it out. Uh, now I'll turn that on. G, X. How far can we come out? Are you? Yep, sweet. That's probably about the limit. Um, and then from here, this is where those kind of like floodlights somebody mentioned. We can go into a spotlight. Uh, let's go something like that. Let's go into 5,000 watts. Let's go into rendered view. Let's bring the terrain back because that's got obviously the... Um, Thingamabob, blend, uh, uh, is that, that's right, let's go rotate X, I just want to have the building clipped ever so slightly, mm. Mm. pimp nizzle, Yeah, I'll buy that for a dollar. Uh, let's go Shift D, rotate Z 180. Whoops. Shift. Oh, crud. Ah, uh, crud. Let's go something like this. So we've got to find the center point. No, you donkey. Shift S, cursor to selected. Rotate Z, yeah. Uh, back into here, no, here, origin, rotate Z, 90. Yes, that's not sitting right, is it? I hate you. Let's just go G, uh, Y. Oh no, okay, fine, whatever, sit like that. Yeah, uneven surface jerk. I think, I got a feeling. Yeah, I stuffed this up good. Uh, terrain, go away for a sec, please. Which one am I trying to fix up? You. Sweet. Uh, let's go Control A. No, Shift A. No, Control E. Shift E, Control E. <laughs> Shift E? Right click. Set origin to. 3D cursor, and then with the 3D cursor, I'm going to scale along the X, so it's like sitting something like that, we'll probably scale it some more, and now let's go G to the X, G to the Y, G to the Y, something like that, that is now off, you stupid donkey, right click set origin to 3D cursor, I hate you. What? Select all, G, Y, to about there. Yeah, should be right. Excellent, so now we can see that. Um, let's now select this. Shift S, Custer selected, welcome. DZ football. Oh, how many likes are we on? So, like I've said before, let's go up to 120 likes, then we'll give away a whole bunch of kit bashing sets. Rogue One vibes when they attack the Scarif Tower, you reckon? Scarif Tower, let's have a look. The Tower on Scarif. Oh, the Tower on Scarif, you clown. Oh, yeah. I see that. I see it. Uh, da -da images. Yeah, kinda. Um, so, from here, let's go Shift D, rotate Z 90. 
shift D rotate Z 90 shift D rotate rotate Z 180 and then let's turn our terrain back on let's go into rendered mode and we'll see what that is looking like yes freaking sick I think that's I think it's looking pretty suave. Oh yeah, it was much taller. Oh. What's going on, Mr. DZ? Football. It'll be a football, eh? Yeah, that's looking... That's looking schmick as. Um, I don't understand why that's black, though. I think I know why that's black. Alright, so definitely we need to add some floodlights. Over here, I'm going to keep that area empty. Um, I am going to apply the bull tool now. Apply the bull tool. Delete the bull tool. And then from here, let's go ahead and maybe add in some cable link. Some big get stuffed pipes, I reckon. So right there. Shift A. Let's add in... Let's add in a Bezier curve. Into edit mode, select the Bezier curve, delete the vertices. We're going to click on the draw tool, go over into the workshop. We're going to draw onto the surface. And then I'm going to go from here all the way down. Scale Y zero, so it's all straight. Let's now jump into edit mode, GZ, bring that down, delete that vertice. Uh, what on earth are you doing? Nope, no, 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 that one, delete vertice. And let's go get rid of the terrain because it's now blocking my view. Uh, I could probably get rid of that one now. Let's bring it off the area. Scale, let's go here, scale X zero, make sure it's straight. Scale X zero, make sure that's straight. Nice. That's a bit weird. Let's extend that. And then we're going to go, whoops, scale X zero. But we are going to increase that. All right. So what we've done now is we've created a Bezier curve going from the top to the bottom. Whoop de stinking do, Marco. Oh, let me tell you a fun story. Uh, let's go G to the Z. Nope, let's not do that. Let's bring that actually down. And then I'm going to get E to extrude up the Z axis. From here, we're going to go into the Bezier tools. We're going to go into the active spline. No, we're not. We're going to go into geometry, depth. And I'm just going to increase that sucker all the way up. That's a big get stuffed pipe, that one. Let's get GZ, bring it down. Nice. Nice. This can go into all the way into the ground. I hate you. Control Z. E to extrude all the way down. Let's now duplicate that puppy. And we're just going to move it over to the Y axis. Shift D Y. Who the heck just joined? Stu. Welcome. And I am going to select maybe one more. Let's go Shift D. Or not. On the Y axis. P separate by selection and this one is going to be like 0.8 nope control Z okay 0 0.4 0 0.45 this one here is going to be one just a big get stuffed pipe uh nub nub <laughs> I don't know what that is is the ship texture mess up because you followed my advice about unchecking the nodes yeah probably that's what I'm going to guess I'm going to guess it's all your fault. <laughs> uh, this is all kinds of like scenes from any of those It does a little bit, doesn't it? I can see that. I'll buy that for a dollar. Ooh. Okay. So this is now interesting because I've got that there. What does this spotlight look like now? Even though there's a pipe in the way. Let's move it over a smidgen. Let me 
it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad at all. Um, yeah, once we start adding even more like greebling and kit bashing up the top here, I am looking forward to working on this door some more. So maybe what we might even do, let's go tab into edit mode, control L, G to the X. Let's just open it up a smidgen. Shift right click, and I'm going to put in a area light in there. Oops, control Z. Let's go into something like that. G to the Z, probably about there. Let's do uh, 500 watt. I want to make it just a smidgen yellow. What is that going to look like now? It is a big question. Do we have, we've got a little bit of light coming through that slot there. Mm. Sick. Okay. Excellent. So that's worked out really well. Is this door? I think this door's backwards. Yep. The door was backwards. So, oh, the whole frame was backwards. Oh, you dumb clown. Rotate Z. 180. There we go. Look at this. I thought I did this. So what I've actually got here is I've actually got little lights going around. 500 watt. 500 watt. <coughs> so we've actually put in some lights around it. I hear children laughing. That's kind of scary. <laughs> um, yeah, look. Oh, that's a beautiful blue light blue light all right i am down with that i think that is looking schmick as so what are we going to do from here what i was thinking let's get rid of the terrain what i was initially thinking is if we select this section this section in here i'm going to press i to do an inset i again because i want the whole thing let's do e to extrude along the nope scale on the y x something like this um what are we going to do around here i think we need some sort of panel that warps around oh what are we going to do mm. Mm. 500 watt what are we going to do i know what i want to do let's increase that i want to go into the asset browser and now i got whoops let's go into keep bashing um see there's this piece here oh geez there's this piece here which is kind of like um a panel that i built for the star destroyer but i don't know how to wrap it around i don't know how to wrap it around can i do it can i deform simple to form Ooh. Bend? What the heck is that? Ew. Because, I mean, I can't shrink wrap it. Because that'll make it, like, flat, flat. Because that doesn't work. Bend tool. Is there a bend tool? Bend. Bend, 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 bend. I don't have a bend. I could probably use... Um... What is that thing called? The thing is called... That you've done a tutorial on, Marco. You have. You know it exists. Shift S cursor selected. Shift A. Lattice. Use the curve. Hang on. You reckon use the curve. Use the curve. Use the curve. To that. No. <laughs> hang on. I've never done this before. Cast, simple deform. Around that. What the heck? Bend. Need to make another curve to trace it. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, eh? So let's go like that. Shift D, P, separate by selection. 
and then we select that bit and then we're going to go convert to curve convert to curve then we've got this one and you're saying simple to form is that a simple to form is it a curve Is that, is that seven? Let's keep seven. What are you doing over there? Oh, gee. <sighs> ah! Control A, apply all transformation. Okay. Set the origins to be the same. The origins, origins are now the same. Uh, let's make sure we go set You, you guys are clever. Well done. I learn something every day. Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. All right. Okay. Let's now move it over just a little bit. Ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit. Ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit more. Look at that. Ah, oh, there we go. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. Set the oranges. Shove it up. The cursor to the anvil instead of the... What? The anvil. Ah! Is that what you're calling it? I don't know. I just pressed uh, apply transformation. That's why. Okay. So. Now, can I... <laughs> that, was a, that was a bit of a monkey sound. <laughs> Let's do this now. Just look. Sometimes you just have to ignore me. Uh, GG. Why? What? GX. Hmm. I'm not too fond about that. Okay, let's go like this. And we're just going to move this ever so slightly back. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, baby. Get in there. Oh, want my baby buck, baby buck, baby buck. And then we're going to extrude this in. Then we're going to select our curve. G to the Y. Fine. G to the Y. So that it's sitting in like so. Perfect. Lovely jubblies. Isn't that right? Oh, isn't that right? And then from here, the, the plan was... Was to... Okay, let's go into edit mode. Boop. Uh, Sci-fi marker setup. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. I'm going to select... Some random pieces. Control L. New material. We're going to have yellow. Assign hide uh, let's select that one that one that one that one control L new material let's get light blue assign and hide and I reckon we might grab those two mm, and that one and that one control L new material we have yellow I did like the light blue assign. Let's see what the damage is. Uh, Alt H. Select everything. Let's go Control E. Clear seams. Just so it doesn't look so ugly and trashy. Let's now go into rendered view. And we should have a little bit of color through here now. Sick beans. Let's go U cubic projection. Let's now go. What am I doing? Losing the plot. Let's go into terrain. Turn that on. Yeah. Excellent. 
<laughs> On Streamlabs, I can't even use my own... I can't type. I actually have to use YouTube. Because apparently, I'm not subscribed down the bottom right. Makes time. Maybe make a time plus sign time and missive value. That, yes, I will approve that. However, there's probably a high chance I'm not going to be. Oop. There's a high chance oop, I'm not going to be rendering in uh, here. I'll probably do it in what's his face, Unreal Engine. All right, so where are we at? Jeez, it's early. Let's go into the asset browser and we're just going to dump in a whole bunch of assets quickly. Um, I like that piece. That piece can go here. Rotate X, Y, 90. Oop. Rotate ZZ, 90. And let me just quickly come up to here. Face project, G. And then we're just going to copy this around to a few spots. Rotate ZZ, 90. Something like that. Uh, Um, from here, let's go this one. It's always a fun piece. I do like that piece. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh! Okay, cool. We can... Cool, we're fine. <laughs> uh, I think my KVM switch just had a heart attack. But uh, yeah, let's go with that. Um, good music there. Thanks, King. Uh, Mission Strength, you mean? Yeah. Uh, what's your qualification? What qualification? <laughs> That's my qualification. Qualification is touching this thing for 10 years. Yeah, pretty much. That's that is my qualification. <laughs> Oh, um, sorry. Yep, just uh, the computer had a hissy fit. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm just gonna do a quick kit bashing asset, quick kit bashing session now. Ugh, feel a bit parched, bull. Beautiful. That's looking great. I love this piece. Um, let's go like so drop you into there i'm just kind of gonna overlap some of these pieces oh it's even got my new control panels in here how many likes are we on only 73 so if you can remember when was the last time you saved right now uh <laughs> once we hit the 120 mark we'll do a big bit of a giveaway <laughs> i don't know what that was uh let's go like so uh zz 90 jeez hey let's go like so and then we might actually start work on a little bit of a little bit on the interior as well um i just kind of want to fill out some of this space oh i never get to use this piece i really love this piece Um, what else? I am needing to find another show in between Mandalorian episodes. So if anyone's got any recommendations, hey, Marco is listening. I have the Netflix. I have the Disney Plus. I was trying to watch Zark. I think it's called Zark. Ozark or something, but mm. just didn't really tickle my fancy. Um, oh my goodness, I love this. This, yeah, let's just dump that one in here. Actually, you know what? Dump that one in there. 
I'll show you in a sec. My fa one of my favorite pieces that I've ever created. This piece here is by far my favorite piece. I reckon, I reckon, this is what we're going to do. Rotate Z. We're going to put it down on the ground. Like a big get stuff generator. Something like that. Does it sit above the terrain? Something like this. Oh! Ooh, but then there's no doorway down, which is a bit of a problem. Let's go like this then. Bam! The peripheral on Prime Video. I don't know if I got Prime. Do I have Prime? Did I say I've got Prime? No, yes, maybe. Maybe I do. I'll have to check that one out. Um, let's... Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Why not? Let's just start shaping the landscape a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Ain't got a chance. Put your lights out. 20 nights in the ice is a long time. When there's hostels on the hill. I do like that, that pipe there. I reckon what we might do with that. Okay, so the the volume scatter is too thick. So obviously when we're back here, we can't really see much. Um, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Uh, you can have the side of the tower, the pipes between the generators and the tower. Yeah, maybe. I do like that idea. What I'm thinking at the moment, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. I've got an idea. Let's go into mesh cylinder. Oh, G, G, shift Z, bring it down. Scale, uh, let's go 0.25, period key. We're gonna go extrude, edge loop, like so, like this. Uh, let's go E to extrude, scale, shift Z, scale on the Z, like this. And then we're going to do another inset, and then E to extrude, control B to do a bevel. And we're going to do something like that, all right? Okay, okay, we got this. We're going to do this, two materials. We're going to do a blue, and I'm going to select... Hmm, maybe we do this. Hmm, GZ. Nope, 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 nope. GZ. Scale, Shift Z. Something like this. We're going to select this top section. Numpad plus to increase my selection all the way to there. We're going to select this edge loop. Assign, assign. Okay. Right click, shade auto. I'm going to click on this thing. And now it's going to be illuminated. Like the Illuminati. Blue, that's too... Let's go yellow. That might work. Okay. Let's go. Period key. Oh, crud. I need my light. Ah, crud. Where is it? <laughs> Hang on. Let me find my light. There it is. Okay. G, hold control. Snap there. Beautiful. All right. This is what we're doing. I've got an idea. I'm going to put one there. Then from here, I am going to go into an array and we're going to go probably about five. Let's go something like that. Then we'll throw a, a mirror modifier on and we're going to mirror modify this piece. So that's going to slap around to the other side on the Y axis. Curie. Whoops, not the X axis, please. Let's go now G to the Y. So we've got that, lovely. So now we've got these pylons all the way there. Um, so if we were to go into rendered view, and or I've watched, Ew. gosh dang it, that's ugly. Ooh, 
Is that too bright? What do you reckon? Uh, what is education qualification? Uh, I finished year 12. I'm a fitter and turner by trade. That's about it. And now I'm at uni. So now I'm doing a master's in applied cybernetics. Sick. All right, there we go. So that's pretty much my um, field at the moment is, yeah, applied cybernetics. All right, done, 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 done. Okay, this is going well. I'm gonna go shift D, move that off to the side. I am half thinking, let's dump it there. I'm gonna put in another array, zero, five. Let's go something like that. Beautiful, okay, cool. Now I'm gonna apply that. I'm gonna apply that and that. And then we're gonna select all this, go control J, and now that's put it all there. Ah, perfect. Now, with this thing here, hmm, hope I can, hmm. From here, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Maybe smaller light bulbs, you reckon? Eh, we'll come back to that now. Bad batch. I don't know. I did try and watch the Clone Wars at once. Yeah, that's TV series. I was like, yeah. Couldn't really get into it. From here, what I was thinking is what if we did this an array and we go minus 10 shift d so something like that Uh, rotate 45 on the minus. I think it looks okay. I mean, someone just joined for the subscribe. Axey boy, welcome. <laughs> I don't even know how you say it. All right, so we're pretty far away, which is fine. I am gonna go into the world settings. We're just gonna lower it just for now. Nope. Let's select the volume. Volume, here we go. 0 0.001. Too much. 0 0.005. That kind of looks cool. And then if I just made like a ground material for now, ground, let's go into the brown. Um, we're going to change this to Marco sci-fi setup. It's going to be a bit dark though. Mm. That's, that's the little bit that's disconcerting. Disconcerting? Is that even a word? Nope, no, 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 no. Marco. I do feel that it should be lighter, but because we're doing it like this, we can obviously change it all up. We're getting there. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Uh, and this is where it would be perfect to have kind of like a decal uh, set. Now, one thing I haven't been doing is UV unwrapping any of this jazz. So it's obviously going to not look 100%. We're getting there. I know what I'm doing ish, kind of maybe, per chance. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, oh, idiot. 
Copy material to selected. Copy material to selected. That one there, under there. Whoops, you, you, you. Copy material to selected. You, we're almost there, almost there. Marco, done. All right, now what we need to do is actually fix up this shader a little bit. Gotta go, okay, sweet. Actually, hey, 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 hey. Um, let's now come in, and I know, let's come into the previous so I can see what it's roughly looking like. So it's not bright enough. So from here, I'm gonna go into a mix shader. I don't think it's a mix shader. No, they've changed it. Shift A, what the heck is it called now? We want shader, color. Mix color, sure. Um, I want to multiply. Maybe not. Let's go. It's not screen, is it? Yikes. It is definitely not screen. It's kind of what I'm after, actually. Uh, let's go into rendered view. That's good. Oh, welcome to the stream. Oh, okay. Ooh. Hello, darling. How are you? All right. I am semi curious. Actually, ooh, let's let's lower these things a little bit. Nope, not you. You. We're under the ground. Bring you up. Okay, let's bring you up even higher. Whatevs. Who just joined? Prince9. Uh, welcome. Okay. Um, I just want to... Alright. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a backup now. Save as. And let's do a backup. Underscore backup. Because I know how to spell backup. File, open recent. And then we go back into our normal blend. Let's do some funky stuff now. Now, from here. We are going to be using... We are going to be using this. When I find it, that one there. Copy. I will be using this, okay? So from here, okay, let's now hide the volume. Why are you in this, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna be using the Botanic add-on. Please tell me I got the Botanic Rand installed. Yes, yeah, sweet. Okay, I want to, sp here, spawn an asset. I want some big get stuff trees. I would love something with a big thick as like trunk. <sighs> that one there, semi. Okay, let's have a look. How big is this tree? Yes. That is... Uh, beautiful. Let's go... Change brightness. I don't know what it is. Randomize. Uh, no, 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 I want to... Hmm. I thought there was a bit where you could... Brightness. Whatevs. So we're going to have some trees smaller. Others like so. What the heck? Oh. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn in another one. Oh gosh, what was what was this tree called? 
tree, quartz, blah, 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 something. Let's go the other way. Uh, tree, core. Here we go, this one. Ugh. Let's find something else. Some other big get stuff tree. This one here looks pretty grouse. Whoops. Hold control. Shift D, rotate, and we're just going to dump in some trees. And we're just mixing them up a little bit. Whoops, hold control. Alright, so. If we go Shift D, I'm going to put one like over there. Let's throw one more set of trees. I don't know what that is. I want that one there. I want that one. <laughs> hey. I should have done Alt D is what I should have done. All right, so I'm gonna go like something like this. Uh, let's go Shift A, add in a camera. Control Alt Numpad Zero. And obviously the camera isn't set to be able to see that far. Let's go something like this. We're going to go into rendered mode. Um, I'm going to change it from like flat as it is. Okay, that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that at the moment. We're going to change this from perspective to panoramic. Let's go 50 because that's what it was on. Um, I want to go depth of field. This is my target. And that should take all that out. What the heck? Just that, please. Let's go one. One. 0.5. Are you, are you doing a depth of field, you jerk? Okay. Um, let's turn on the volume. What's going to be the damage? Let's. I'm just going to press F12. On. We'll just see what happens. See what the heck. Let's do our first render of the night. Ugh. Mm, so far, so good. 23 samples. Definitely those lights are way too bright. So we're going to bring them down. Uh, let's just can that for now. And we will bring those lights down first up. Let's maybe bring it down to two. Perfect. Let's now press F12 and we'll just see what happens. Yeah. So funnily enough, people prefer a stream of just spaceships. They don't prefer scenery. Interesting. Interesting. What are we on? 82 likes. Like, I mean, I've been going on for like two hours now. Yikes. Love that glow. That looks great. Definitely wants, you know, there's kind of like dirt patches and stuff in here. I think the bigger thing at the moment is there's no scale. Like there's no, we can't really see the people. So yeah, there's no sense of scale. So that ship there might need to rotate a bit. Um, put those lights in, definitely. Overall, it looks nice, but it's just flat. That's the problem. The image is too stinking flat. So let's go something like that. Rule of third. There's my rule. This is obscene, kind of like pointing that way. Uh, it's too flat. Definitely, once we start putting stuff on the ground. Why are the trees so big? It's uh, That's what the forest planet is. It's kind of like how I've set it up. I reckon maybe if we start bringing in some small trees. Put 
probably once yeah I don't think that tree belongs there because it would have been cut down I know I would have um, we said that it looks flat I'm gonna rotate this ship around okay let's have a look let's come down to here also obviously there's no lights coming from below uh, so let's grab these lights here and I think that if I go G and hold control I reckon if we illuminate maybe something like that uh, let's go shift D maybe something like that I reckon if we have like a light shining across the dock I think that might be better I think I found your channel looking for some spaceship information. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a bit of a mixed thing. So one one thing I would love to do on the channel is obviously make animated short films, but the problem is is my audience isn't animated short films. So I think that I'm going to get very heavily panel penalized for when I do start releasing, you know, create my web series or whatever. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's giving me pretty much what I'm after. Why is that there? You're meant to be over here, Sunshine. Through there. I was hoping for a little bit more of a spread on that one, so it actually goes down, out, and through. Um, maybe what we could do is bring up the world lighting as well. World. World. Yep. So, let's go sound elevation up to 5. And that'll make everything a little bit brighter. That'll make the lights a little bit more irrelevant. Um, let's grab the light that's sitting in here. You, sir. And we're going to go Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. Um, one thing I reckon we need is maybe like right there. Let's go Shift S cursor. Let's add in maybe just like a little UV sphere. Get staffed. Like so, shift D to the Y, like so, and I'm going to grab these three, control J to join. Let's now select that, new, we will create um, a light blue, I'm going to duplicate this one and this one's going to be called red, and I think hopefully having maybe a bit of red hidden along in here might add to that. Let's select this, control J to join. And now it's going to go, it needs lasers. With sharks. Sharks with lasers on their heads. Um, I think we're missing something on top here. So let's jump over into the, into the keep bashing set. Only 86 likes. Oh, we're dropping in numbers. Yay. From here, let's go into the assets. Um, I do want a nice big get stuffed piece. That one there, perfect. Oh, get stuffed. That one there, rotate Z 90. There we go. Beautiful. That'll do that nicely. And I think I just kind of want something else just in there. Ooh, what's this piece? Oh, yeah. I'll buy that. Nice. Shift D. Rotate 90, and I'll just plop that in there. Something like that. Yes. Yes. Delightful, says the Batman. Yes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. This bit here, we could probably add in a little bit extra. Um, let's go I to do an inset, E to extrude. Just add some extra details on that. Let's add some pipage on this one through there. Rotate Z, it's going to be kind of irrelevant, but whatevs. 
because we're not going to really see it. Excellent. Blah, 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 blah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We really need to work on the ground, I reckon. So from here onto the... Oh, no. No. Let's do something. Let's do something a little bit silly with Polly. So I'm going to jump over onto with Polly. And let's just kind of like create AI texture of the ground. Uh, let's go explore new poly editor. Enter prompt. Okay. Large landscape um, with big patches of grass. Um, with lay, um, what are we, uh, with, um, dirt roads, uh, actually let's go two dirt roads, two dirt roads. What the heck? How far back am I on the stream? Let me just look at myself in the top right. Am I? I wasn't even up to date. Okay, whatevs, clown. If I stop myself, I don't know. Anyway. Um, two dirt roads, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's go generate patches. Did I just break my stream? Nope, I'm all good. Uh, I'd watch that, but it makes a difference. Okay. Um, let's go... Um, dusk. No, that's fine. Okay, I like this one. Whatevs. Let's go with that one. 512. Let's go into make seamless. I think we go that. We make seamless. Where, where do we make it? 8K. There we go. 8K. Upscale that image. Whoop. Ah, it is upscaled. All right, well, that was fairly straightforward. And then if we actually have a look at the material, we want organic. Uh, oh, no. It's generating up here. It's upscaling. All right. Come on. Uh, so, yeah. With Poly is a tool where you can create AI generated seamless textures. And so that's kind of like why I've just opened it up and gone to town. This is some of the stuff that other people have made. Oh, is that salmon? Oh, that's cool. That's freaky. Uh, is there anything else I can steal on here while the other one's loading? Yeah, let's have a look at this one, baby. Ah, it's too bright. Uh, let's go into a cube map. Ah, it's a cliff face. All right, that's not what I'm after. So let's go back. Nope. Uh, is there anything else? I'm just trying to find. That's the one we just looked at. I'm looking for a ground. I'm looking for a nice, like, grassy, dirt ground. M&M's, that's cool. Jungle Roots Earth. <sighs> oh, that one doesn't look too bad. Let's have a look. What do we got in here? This is still upscaling out to 8K. It is a little bit bright. Can I turn this off? You know what? I'm intrigued. I'm just going to download this one. Let's go EXR, export that zip. Bring it down. I found a free Greeble set. <laughs> All right, let's... I'm intrigued to see how this turns out. I'm just going to quickly save it in there, in there, in here. Right-click, new folder, textures. And we'll see how that turns out. Come on, hurry up. 
download whilst this one's still processing. Are you finished? Organic. Generate those PBR materials, please. Come on. I'm waiting for this to download. Does it cost anything to use? I think you can use a little bit of it for free, um, but you can't, you wouldn't be able to export 4K or 8K textures. Um, there's kind of like other settings here. Anything with the infinity sign, you can't export. What the? Hey, generate all these, you jerk. Okay, have we finished downloading? Come on. This is what it's like having internet in Australia. It's a little bit slow. Oh yeah, maybe I should actually send the website, hey. That would probably make sense, you clown. There we go. Enter. Go have a look, have a play. Um, what else? So that's hopefully going to cover our ground situation. What is this? Oh, that's that. Ah, so this is on a, from a previous stream as well, for those of you who are new. Welcome. Um, that turned out okay. I kind of, eh, I wasn't feeling at 100% this one. But I kind of did learn a bit from it. But next time, we'll see what happens. Okay, that's still downloading. Um, I think once we get ground in here, once we throw in some rocks as well. Can we go spawn, spawn? I want to, I want some rocks. Lots and lots of rocks. Um, let's go granite. Okay. Hopefully, yep, it's going to be small as. That's fine. And then that'll... There we go. Let's just... Might as well just keep, keep bashing a little bit while we wait for that thing to download. There we go. And hopefully from here... Yep, yeah, beautiful. I really do wish I could use Quixel stuff in here. I mean, I can, but I would have to buy it. That's one of the reasons why I'm like, oh, do I do Unreal Engine? Do I? Do I do Unreal Engine? Uh, so yeah, going back to this. Did he model the spaceport? I sure did. No one gigabyte on your island. One gigabit. One go. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, da -da 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 -da. granite. Let's throw one more. I oh, get stuffed. Let's throw one more in. And I think we're coming slowly towards the end. Uh, I will upload all this to Patreon probably straight afterwards. Oh, actually, oh gosh, I don't know if Patreon will let me. Okay, can't see any of that. That is awesome. Hold control, bring that down. There we go. Uh, definitely we'll throw in some grass as well. So has this finished downloading? Sure has, yay. Textures, crack that open. Uh, into here, please. Let's grab all that. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Jump that in. Is my other texture ready? It is thinking. Hmm, not sure. How it's going to work go generate that all right so from here let's select our ground into shading ground select that control shift t because i've got node wrangler enabled select all that principal shader video uh-huh 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 uh -huh. let's now go back into layout let's turn on this let's just have a look what happens you subscribe by the way watch a process for compositing your scenes scenes whatever makes it look nice that does not look nice <laughs> um, let's go back into shading i will change this to 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 actually no scale yeah no four 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 yes there we go let's go back into layout i normally sometimes have like an idea this one, I didn't really have an idea. Actually, you know what? That kind of semi works. I do want to bring down the world again to maybe one degree. 
Ah, no volumetrics. There we go. That's the problem. So now it kind of works. Kind of works. Let's go... Let's go one. I do want to go in there. Whoa! That's not what I wanted, Sunshine. Period kit. Let's zoom in. And I want to... Maybe create a floor plane here. I'm just going to hide that for a sec. There's a floor plane there. What the heck? Let's go. I'm just going to just fudge something. Just so it's kind of a little bit more reflective in here. And we're going to bump this up in here to maybe 2,500. And I'm going to give it a bit of a yellow tinge. Now let's go F12 and see what happens. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, oi, oi. I was going to do a sci-fi forest landing pad thing. Thief! Thief! <laughs> um, yeah, so this was all derived from La Midjourney. So this is the original image. And then we're kind of just expanding on it. So there's a, there's a lot more paths and crud around here. Uh, it's a little bit different, but oh well. Where's my image? I don't like it. Oh, you idiot. I'm not a fan. It's missing a lot. I think it's the ground texture. I don't think that works. Uh, copy materials are selected. Um, let's open up another file. Let's come over into... Uh, bot Backyard, what's that? Oh, it's that one, yep. Yeah. Underground Cave, Wheat Farm, Sci-Fi Apartment, Small Sci-Fi Ship. That's that one. Mm, I don't really like that one. Gravity Center, yes, that's done. Medium Frigate, we're still working on. Short Range Fighter, mm. What is this one? Yeah, I think so. Ah, so. oh, this one. Eh. I'm a fan of that one. Mid journey ship, not that one. That one failed. What's this one? What? You dumb donkey. You just turned off the music. Hmm, not that one. That was terrible. Um, engine bays. Sci fi transporter. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. All right, I've, I've turned off the music because I'm so stinking smart. Small sci-fi fighter. I think this is the ugly one. Ooh. Okay, let's grab this one. Uh, small sci-fi fighter. 22 coal. Okay, don't. Let's now go there. File. Link. I think it was 22. What the... 22. I really like this ship. Link. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's make it land like this. Like Boba Fett. That's how it lands. <laughs> it was just like a party. I've just rocked up. There's always the one guy who just doesn't know how to land properly. Uh, yeah, I think the ground needs to be a little bit darker. Uh, shading. I want specularity down. Roughness. Let's go color ramp. Nope. Uh, let's go into a mix color. Beautiful. Let's go into our preview. I want to go multiply. And we're going to go this way. I really want to multiply, make it dark. Nice, perfect. Dad drove that one. <laughs> All right, 
let's have a look what that looks like now. We're not really going to be able to see that. I think it might be just the case. I have to move the camera closer. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Now, I do have the effect where we've got kind of like an equal solid thing in my bob. But now we're missing a whole bunch of that. I love those lights. They look really nice. Volume. Let's jump over into the material. 0 0.05. Point, point oh 0.07. Okay. Now I've made it super dark. Because you're a donkey. Hmm. Uh oh. Okay, I do want that. Sun, maybe if we go 30. And then this is where we can kind of come in and add in more. Yeah, the ground textures need to be is going to have to be fixed up, I think. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just put it in, see what happens. There's no music. Marco, what was the song that you were playing? Why have I got a song called Ticklish? That's weird. Back to this one. I think, yeah, putting some more of the trees in. Those ships now look weird. It looks, it looks it looks like a toy is the problem um so there's several things probably wrong at the moment is a nothing is uv unwrapped and i know the material that i've got on it is required for it to be uv unwrapped um so that's one thing yeah we got people here but we can't really see them there's nothing up in here the image is too crisp it's too it's too solid. So, think, Marco. What you can do, Marco. You're listening? I'm listening. What you can do, select everything. Okay, where are the trees? What? Please tell me they're in their own layer. Excellent. So let's get rid of all the trees. Um, I don't think I can select edit that one. Beautiful. Um, where are my characters? My characters are on the same layer. So I'm just going to hide that, 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 that. Let's now do the really big mistake of selecting all. Go tab into edit mode, U, cubic projection. Go back out. Let's now go into rendered mode. And we'll see, do we have scratches and crud all around the corners? We do. Excellent. Um, now the next question is so where they're supposed to be interacting we do have that bit of ambient occlusion good 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 so that's looking a lot better now this is the question is i do have a really nice material that i've created which is on patreon but where did you put it marco you dumb donkey it's not in there because that's your kit bashing set. I think it might be in 3D stuff because you're smart and you did that. Nope. Nope. Nope, not that one. Nope. Nope. Well, they, oh, here it is. Okay, cool. All right. So from here, let's jump into shading. Uh, select everything. I am going to 
Let's break that one because I do want to keep this material just in case. I don't know why you've put in translucent, but sure. Shift T. And then from here, I'm going to go like this into there. Uh, control Shift T. We're going to come into this section, select that. Okay. Uh, I'm just having a look what color I think we want. No, this isn't the textures that I'm after. Ah, oh, far out. No, these aren't the textures. These are not the textures you're looking for. Yep, I agree with that. That's a freaking loot line. Let's, I just now want to get to a certain point. And then we'll call it 32. No, it's 40. I'm looking for the medium frigate. Medium frigate V2. I know that this text is like everything. UV unwrap, cube reject, add noise. Uh, 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 all fix, hit render, done. <laughs> all right, let's have a look. Where is this? Sci fi panels. Is it? Oops, that's steam. Oh, here they are. Okay. Um, I want... I think it's these ones down here. Yeah, here we go. All right, found them. Okay. Found my materials. Yeah, donkey. Don't save. Control V. Sci-fi panels. Okay. D. N. Control shift T, you clown. Control V. That one. And that one. Oh, far out. Suck. Fine. Okay, color. Open. Shut your pie hole. Control V. Do it manually. Alt. Shift. D. Uh, into a normal map. Nope. Normal map. Color into color. Normal into normal. Open that up. Uh, select that one. I have no idea what's going on in here. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so that means now from here... We lose all the ambient occlusion stuff. That's fine. I'll live with that. Why? Ah, oh, hang on. Let's select everything. Control A, apply the scale. A boarding cube mesh. Okay, so object. So it's because I did the Alt D. So we've got to parents. Clear. No, not clear parent. Relations, single user. Oh, hang on. Yep, no spaceships or anything. Good. So, object. Relations, make local. No, single. Whatever, shut up. Just do that. Control A, apply the scale. Sweet. Select all. U, cubic projection. Are we all roughly the same now? Mm. Semi semi, polar polar. Copy materials are selected. Ah, crud. Whatevs. So now we have that. Excellent. I'm going to bring that into the roughness. And I want minimal specularity. Let's now come back over here. How do I create all those different masks for the same texture? Uh, I can't remember how I created it. I think I was in GIMP and I just started drawing squares. So from here, let's go back into layout. Let's have a look how this turns out. Okay, so we're going to go into small fighters. We're going to bring them back. Oh, let's just go Alt H to start off with. Hide and hide. And then we're going to bring back our Botanica. 
bring back our characters, bring back this guy. Uh, there is a character over here somewhere. I just want to snap him up. You. G, hold control. Let's just rotate you around. Oops. That doesn't work. Shift D, G, control. I'm just going to do that. Uh, let's go Shift D, hold control. <laughs> Surely not. Mate, you can just stand in there in the window and hopefully we'll get a silhouette of you. F12. Oh, my back. It's hot. All right. All right, now shut up. I've been listening to you for too long. Let's see how the new texture looks. Love the lights. That's all grouse. New texture. Yep, way better. Obviously, we could probably throw on some more greebles and such. Definitely more lighting. We can do this interior bit in here. Ground needs to be able to work. It needs a lot more trees and such. Probably even some grass work. Camera's not straight. <laughs> yeah, that texture made it look way better. Still, though, it's very, very flat. Um, I think probably to fix that would be more of the minute little details. Um, another, I don't have any bevels on the thing. I'll try getting a blue light in the sky for those pretty bounce off roof. Mm. But I was going for more of a nighttime look. I mean, I could raise the thing, the sun lamp up, but this ground texture is not the best at the moment. Because uh, it's probably still baking. Because I can export 8K textures now from with Poly. This bit here needs to be redone. I kind of... Look, I'm just going to quickly do this. I want to add in some bevels. Let's go start adding in bevels. Bevel. Uh, bevel. This one here is wrong. Let's go 0.01. Here. Bevel. Here, I reckon that just adding these bevels here is going to do a lot. It's going to do a lot. It's going to do a lot, if you know what I mean, yeah? Let's go like that. Down here, throw a bevel on. Um, up top, too high. Bevel. Did I put a bevel on here? I did a bevel on there. Let's go, last one. Last man. Like a bright moon. Oh, it's not a moon. It's not a moon. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's not a moon. Chopping your legs. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Goat bladders. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Why? Children of the night, where is the rubber band? You're ruining my plan. Down the street, down the street. <laughs> 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 All right, let's um. Ooh, okay, okay, go back into rendering. One, two. All right, so we're gonna try. We change the sun direction up a little bit, and we'll make it a little bit brighter. I think. The ground is what's going to kill us at the moment. But we'll do one more render. Dun, 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 dun. It's not a moon. It's not a moon. It's not a moon. Listen to me, Greg. Sorry. I really should learn all that. Hi. I think this is the bit where we probably should flood some more trees. Oh, look at this god rays. Okay. Yeah, there's air. That's uh, that's some good god rays there. All 
uh, yeah, I think maybe once create some roads and such off there, definitely adding in some of the more minor details will be better. Yes, I added the bevel modifier, so you can see a lot of it's improved quite a bit. Let's go into one. So that's one, that's two. So that volumetrics has done wonders. Those ships on the left are sitting a little bit off. Um, I Hang on. Uh, let's go into rendering. Three. Powdered goat's bladders. Don't like... Point one. I'm going to try and do a full... It's totally intentional. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I put the volume in there. So now I've put in the f-stop really, really low. Okay, it's a, it's a little bit wide for my liking. Yeah, now it's too much of a toy looking style thing. But anyway, there we go. What's that? A two and a half hour stream. Ugh, not a lot of people came through tonight. We will go back to making spaceships next Sunday. I think that's going to be the big thing. Um, I am going to, if I can, let's have a look. What's the size of this scene? Once it's finished. Control S. I'm going to save that puppy. Um, what is the size of the scene? Let's go here. Forest landing port. 847. Oh, that's because I got four characters. That's fine. So I'm going to clear out some characters and then I'll try and get this up on Patreon if you want to download it. Um, I will have to separate part of it up. Um, but this ship here will go up on Patreon now. Minimal. So let's call it a night. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. Not a lot of people came through, but yeah, not even. We didn't even reach 120 likes. Oh, gosh. So anyway, maybe next week we will release some more Cubashing assets. Uh, yeah, until next time, have a good night, be safe, take care.